The left ventricle is the main pumping chamber of the heart and the left ventricular outflow track obstruction is blockage in the exit, in the outflow track of the left ventricle. It's usually caused by the combination of uh, the thick muscle, abnormally thickened muscle, the abnormal move of one of the valves of the left ventricle, the mitral valve, and the overall dynamic um, movement of, of the left ventricle, especially when hypertrophic cardiopathy is diagnosed as an underlying condition. There are many factors contributing to the left ventricular outflow tract obstruction of the left ventricle. One of them is the increased thickness of the muscle of the left ventricle, which is typical for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Another one is the abnormalities of a valve called mitral valve, which should not be in the way of the exit of the heart of the left ventricular outflow tract but it is in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Another one is the position of um, some additional muscles inside the left ventricle, which are called papillary muscles. So it's a multifactorial phenomenon and event and is very common in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, especially on exertion, especially when the patient is um, undertaking any physical activity uh, or exercising. It is less frequent at rest when the patient is relaxed or sleeping. Left ventricular outflow tract obstruction can cause breathlessness very commonly, can cause chest pain, can cause uh, near fainting and fainting episodes. These symptoms will typically occur in circumstances when the patient is putting some physical, physical effort, especially when or if the patient is dehydrated in a hot environment, uh, especially after big meals, especially uh, after uh, alcohol intake and other circumstances that would predispose to this left ventricular outflow tract obstruction. So it's quite dynamic and it may come and go Typically, patients complain of good and bad days or report good and bad days because this left ventricular outflow tract obstruction can occur one day when the circumstances are um, more uh, likely to, to cause it and may not occur the following day. The, the typical patient with obstruction will complain of uh, difficulties to walk up the stairs, to walk up hills, and, and so on. Left ventricular outflow tract obstruction can cause a lot of symptoms and is not directly life-threatening, but can contribute to life-threatening risks. So obviously it's not good for the heart to be blocked when the heart is trying to push the blood out. And this is most likely related to the occurrence of arrhythmias, which then become life-threatening or if something else is wrong with the heart, the left ventricular outflow tract obstruction will make the cardiac problems worse. So there is no direct link between the obstruction and the risk. However, it can contribute to several risks of the heart. But the main problem with obstruction is that it is causing uh, regular symptoms. For the management of left ventricular outflow tract obstruction, we use a number of drugs, a number of medications, which should be used with caution because although they have a positive effect on the obstruction, they also have side effects quite frequently. So we need to find the, the, the right combination of drugs and the right balance, which will be beneficial for the patient. Sometimes the medication doesn't work, doesn't uh, do the trick for the patient. And therefore we need to look for other options. And we have a number of interventional options and a, a surgical operation, which is considered the gold standard for the management of the obstruction because it corrects the thick wall of the heart, the abnormalities of the valve, 
and everything else that contributes to the obstruction inside the left ventricle. We used to offer the operation to patients who were very symptomatic, but given that the risk of this operation is becoming smaller and smaller in big and experienced centers, there is a discussion that we should be offering this operation to the patients earlier than what we used to. The operation is called surgical myectomy. 